James Maxwell, Dr. Ginger Hamster, on Twitter, Minds.com. Good fella, turn me on to this. Link below. Story in Medium by Helen Rosner. She's got problem glasses. 20 things men can do right the fuck now to support women beyond just literally ceasing to sexually harass us. Helen, I agree. Guys, stop it. Don't do it. Just leave the ladies alone, for Christ's sake. I mean, it's not that hard. Of course, uh, we're really only talking about uh, a small percentage of the population. You know, most men do not do that. Okay? Now, the problem, the problem is, is that if you define sexual harassment as anything a man that you do not desire might do, like, say, good morning. Well, I guess we're all guilty of that. So she writes, 20 reasons men can do right the fuck now to support women. Why do I always have to do something to support women? Why is that? What do women do to support me? I mean, let's, you know, let's be a little selfish here. What are they doing to support me? Hmm. Oh, you never hear. You, you don't see stories about that, do you? Of course not, because you see, you got to look through the lens of oppression, people. And the lens of oppression tells you men are always privileged. And we're oppressing women. So, of course, looking through that lens, you know, women can't help their oppressors, you see. Oh, God, it's such bullshit. Just, oh, God. You just, okay. Let's run through this list real quick. Uh, again, Goodfellas video link below. He goes through it uh, in his inimitable way. Number one, overcome your own transphobia. Well, you're assuming I have that. I, I don't. I don't care. How about that? Do whatever you want. Live your life. Hey, have a day. Uh, when we're talking about, you know, men and women's bathrooms and stuff, you know, we can have that discussion. But uh, if you're trans, hey, God bless you. You know, that's uh, that's your thing. And I don't care. Is that uh, is that okay? Is it, Am I overcoming my transphobia by not really giving a flying fart? I think so. Number two, be pro-choice and be vocal in support of reproductive rights. You have every reproductive right in this country you could possibly ever imagine women would you stop with this fucking bullshit please she writes parenthetically and generous give to the national network of abortion funds fuck you <laughs> it, it, why don't you why don't you and she writes understand that the opposite of reproductive choice is forced childbearing um there are such things called birth control pills there are condoms there are IUDs, and there's the option to not have intercourse. I'm just throwing it out. Whatever choice you make, it's not forced. You can do whatever you want. And if you have sex with a guy and you get pregnant, you can have an abortion. Okay? I just stop. Support subsidized birth control. No, pay for it yourself. Be an adult. Okay? Be an adult. Number four, support non-tax menstrual products. Absolutely not. You're an adult. Everybody pays sales tax on shit you buy. Suck it up, buttercup. Also, ask if your workplace, ask your workplace if tampons and pads are free. You know, nothing is free, Helen. Somebody has to pay for it. You do know that, right? If they're not, advocate for them to be free. No, no. Absolutely not. Jesus H. Christ. Strong, powerful women. You can't pay $5 a month for a box of freaking tampons. Shove it up your ass. Get over any embarrassment you have about menstruation. I have no embarrassment. I don't fucking care. How about that? Number five, vocally advocate at your workplace for longer and more egalitarian paid parental leave. Whether or not parenthood is part of your life, advocate for lactation spaces. Advocate for on-site or subsidized child care. So in other words, this good fellow says, you want someone else to pay for your decisions in life. Is that right? I see. And if you don't support this, of course, you hate women. Isn't that what we're supposed to believe? Number six, tell your elected officials that you are a man who votes and you prioritize women's issues. No, I don't. I prioritize what's best, what I believe is best for the country. And that includes women, so I guess you could say I'm already there. Seven, whenever you're in a group composed of only men, 
Ask yourself why there are no women present. Well, sometimes men just want to get together and hang out without having bitches around. Okay. <laughs> oh, do you, do you ask the same question to women? Oh, if you're a group of women, ask why there's no men around. You know, sometimes we just want to hang out without having whatever. Number eight. Cultivate genuine, intimate, non-sexual friendships with women. Impossible. Almost impossible. No, doesn't happen. Except maybe, you know, somebody you went to grade school with or something. Then, you know, maybe. But, uh, no. Nine, seek out women to be your heroes and mentors. Sure, why not? Number ten, anytime... Oh, oh wait a minute. <laughs> you see, the women that might be my heroes, Condoleezza Rice, you know, uh, Sarah Palin, you know, as an example, Ann Coulter, uh, you know, Dana Lash. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those are not the heroes you want because they're conservative. You see, even though they've got the vag, the, you know, the, the vag is canceled by the conservative, meaning non-leftist feminist view, you see. Ann Coulter might very well be a feminist, but she's not a crazy nut job. Okay. Number 10. Anytime you see a building street institution named for a man, see how long it takes you to spot another one named for a woman. I, I just... Do we really need to get down to the trivialities? There's a, there's a, there's a man on this bill. Who gives a shit? If you want to talk about real problems, you know, you know, the Middle East where women, okay, well, let's talk about that. Okay. Name on a building. Come on, people. And we're only at number 10. We only have 10 more to go. 11. Ask yourself what things you don't do for whatever reason that you, that you also think of as something women tend to do. So send birthday cards, care about skincare. I sew, I send birthday cards. So I guess, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman. There's nothing. <laughs> 12, talk less in all spaces at all times at a lower volume. Um, fuck off. I'll do what the hell I want. Okay. You're free to do what you want. I'll do what I want. I don't need you telling me. Why don't we want women at our gatherings with men? Exactly. We're going to try to tell you what to do. No, you're not. Go away. 13. When you need support, reach out to men as well as women. I do. Actually, it's mostly men <laughs> because women don't fucking care. Just say it. Work to be a person your friends of all genders can reach out to when they need support. Okay. 14. Consume media marketed to women. All media is marketed to women. Helen, you, you cannot be this dense. Every radio, well, when I was in radio, every radio station, the prime goal was to attract women because women control about 70% of household spending. Okay. It's all marketed to women, except the beer and motor oil uh, stations, classic rock stations. But even then, they like to have women listening. So stop. I mean, wake up. I mean, go outside once in a while or, you know, <laughs> live, live life like the rest of us do. 15, deprogram your beliefs about thinness being an optimal state of feminine beauty. Well, I, it, it varies. Yeah. It's not thin necessarily, Helen. It's healthy. Okay. If you're 20, 30 pounds overweight, yeah, okay. You're, you're healthy. Good. Whatever. If you're 150 pounds overweight, and your stomach is turning into a gunt, eh, you got a problem. 16, get this now, jerk off without porn for a while. You know, just fuck off. I'll live my life and do what I want, and you do what you want. Don't tell me what to do. I don't need it. Here's what she writes here. In particular, seek out and pay for porn that's made by women, queer people, and people of color, and that's produced ethically. Okay, yeah, ethically, per yeah, absolutely, but I don't... I don't give a flying fart what porn is made by whom. I don't care. What the hell is this? Oh, my God. 17, learn about racism and intersectionality and do everything you can to empower and amplify black women and NBWOC. I'm going to guess this is non-binary women of color. 18, Detach yourself from straw man definitions for hot button issues, intersectionality, cultural appropriation, political correctness, preferred pronoun. They're not issues. They're fucking bullshit. That's why we laugh and say, what is this crap? Christ in heaven. 19. Prioritize kindness. Yeah, I think we should be kind to everybody. 
And Helen, I think you should be kinder to people and not try to tell them what to freaking do. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. And number 20, befriend children. Helen, I don't know what she's saying here. Not going to go there, okay? She says there are infinitely more things you can do to help women. No, no, I'm not going to do any of those. But thanks for your advice, Helen. I really appreciate it. James Maxwell, thanks for listening.